yoga works miraculously. <laughs> the only thing is you got to do it. <laughs> this is not like going to a doctor and taking a pill or he giving you an injection or doing a surgery. You have to do it. If you invest enough time and energy into the practice of yoga, which does not just mean physical things, there are many dimensions of yoga. If you invest a certain amount of time and energy into it, well, it'll pay back in a very huge way. I'm telling you, for ten to twelve years, if you keep a strong yogic practice, Believe me, in this life, you will be able to do what most people will not do in three lifetimes. That's a kind of strength, energy, capability and clarity that it will bring to your life. Tell me, do you still think it's worthwhile investing your mornings <laughs> for yogic practice? Well. There are any number of examples. There was uh, Maladi Halli Swami who lived like a young man till he was hundred. Here I am, not doing too badly, putting in a few hundred miles in a day on my motorcycle today. <laughs> so, uh, without much effort, simply because physically, mentally, energy-wise, if you are in an effervescent uh, state, then activity and what you need to do comes quite effortlessly. You must invest yourself, the youth, the youth of the world must invest their time and energy in yoga because they will live their life many fold over if they do the necessary investment. <laughs> we are here on Highway 111, which leads to uh, the Isha Institute of Inner Sciences, very scenic place out here. Spending the day riding a bit, wanting to acquaint myself with the back streets of uh, <laughs> rural Tennessee, going into a few villages, very interesting places. Maybe meet some people, long distance of course, they am already masked. Huh? This is a riding mask, but it helps. <laughs> but generally, uh, everything is going on normally here, out in Tennessee. Except, of course, uh, no assembly and no congregations of any kind, so the center is inactive, but this is a good time. All the people living in the institute or in the Isha place are into various levels of sadhana. It's a very good time for them because normally our activity is seven days of the week, uh, sixteen to eighteen hours a day. So, rarely they get an opportunity like this, so people are making use of this wealth, this investment will pay off <laughs>